Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on continuing a Fibonacci style sequence. Now before I tackle this question, let me describe to you what the Fibonacci sequence is. And it's a very famous sequence and basically the Fibonacci sequence starts with 0 and 1 and for every term after the first two you just add the last two terms. So add the last two terms to get the next. So if we want the next term, you add the last two terms. 1 plus 0 is 1, so the next term will be 1. And then we add the last two terms. So the last two terms are 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, so that gives you the next term. And then we add the last two terms. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we add the last two terms. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. And that goes on forever. So that is the Fibonacci sequence, it's a very famous sequence, and we're just adding the last two terms to get the next one. Now, we can also have like a Fibonacci style sequence, and that means it still has this same rule, adding the last two terms to get the next term, but it starts with different numbers. The Fibonacci sequence must start with 0 and 1, whereas this starts with different numbers. But can we see, if we add each two terms, so 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. If we add these two terms, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. If we add these two terms, 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. And so we can continue to get more terms in this sequence by just continuing that same rule. So let's just copy these out first. If we apply the same rule as we did for the Fibonacci sequence, we add the last two terms. So 9 plus 14 is equal to 23. Then add the last two terms, 14 plus 23 is 37, add the last two terms to get the next one, 23 plus 37 is 60, and how many does it want? Oh, it just wants the next two terms, so we've actually given three. So we've done more than the questions asked, but that would be the answer.